So, hi. Um, <laughs> I haven't done, like, audio and a video for a while, but hello, everyone. Um, it is The Hidden Rose, which, if you're watching this video and you didn't know it was me, uh, huh. I mean, hi. Anyway, hi. How are you? Um, this is a speed paint. I didn't ditch YouTube, I swear, but I did transition more over to Twitch just because it's a lot easier for me to use. And I'm not going on a script here, but I've only got to do like 4 minutes and 50 seconds. So, who cares? I don't have to be, you know, specific. I hope everyone is doing well. That's what I want to say first. Um, I know I haven't really been on here, obviously. I've been active on my other social media. You should definitely check out my other social media! Um, excuse me, purely because YouTube takes a little more effort. I have uploaded one design on Red. <laughs> I have no I uploaded one design on Redbubble, and I have a second one I need to do, but I gotta get around to it. Anyway, let me talk about this video real quick because it might be useful. So for Inktober, I'm not using the official prompts, but instead a prompt list that was uh, given out from like an art tips account. Tips for artists, I think, was the the username. Um. And basically, I'm using that prompt list instead, and I'm not doing ink drawings mainly because, one, I can't find a sketchbook that would actually work for that, and two, I hate, you know, posting traditional sketches on my page. Um, so what I'm doing instead is that I'm doing digital art, but I'm learning, I'm, I'm doing black and white digital art. But you might be like, Des, um, well, two of your posts, The Witch and Hands, <laughs> they had colors in them. What are you talking about, black and white? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Those two specific pieces only have one color in them. If you think about it, yes, technically the witch had two, or three in all technicalities, but they all went back to the same color. It was mainly just to show the glowing of fire, and that was it. Um, but basically, if I'm going to have color in those drawings, it's only going to be one color. And, you know, any lighting or shading that needs to be done... But otherwise, everything is black and white, and I'm drawing them for different characters, like the first two days were for Belle and her origins, and then the third day was an Indie Tale core. By the way, Indie Tale is still going on, so if you want to see more Indie Tale content, definitely check out Instagram, because I've been posting a pretty decent amount there, and on my TikTok. I posted some, you know, joking ones. Um, and then, whew, the witch, which is this one, is Olia, oh yeah, my OC. I don't know if I've posted on her about on YouTube before. If I haven't, well, this is your first time seeing her. Say hello. She's one of my favorite OCs, and I actually talked about this event on my Instagram post today. Um, which I might start, based on a reply that a friend made, I'll probably start posting more in the captions regarding the characters and the events that are happening in a drawing, so that way if people don't like to watch videos, they can at least read about it and under understand what's going on. So, for this one, for her specifically, this event kind of determined what happened in the rest of that universe in the Earth realm. That's how important this event alone was. And it doesn't, it, it's not really talked about in history like, oh, she made history. It's more of a, it happened, it sparked something, and within the chaos, it was lost. You know, some people obviously you like have records of everything, they know what really happened, but no one really wants to talk about what she did. And I'm not going to go into detail right now of what she did. It was pretty bad. It was, there was some severe stuff that happened because of her, um, but she felt justified. And I'm not saying what she did was right. I'm saying she thought what she did was right. So keep that in mind. I will be talking about it more soon. And it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. She's by far one of my favorite characters. I mean, I love all my characters because I'll get focused on one and then that's all I work on. And then they have all this development that I can just, I can have fun with. Just like Lucifer and Elizabeth, I'm going to be finally working on their kiddos soon, you know, once I actually get the motivation up. I think I want to work on Elizabeth more first, just because I absolutely adore her. And I'm coming up on the 30, I just passed the 30 second mark when I'm ending the video. So definitely check out my other social media. I post a lot on Instagram and Twitter. I post my updates there. So that way, if you want to keep updated on what's going on, you check there first, because <laughs> I'm not going to post on YouTube first. I'll continue posting on YouTube, maybe not as much, but you know, a, a decent amount. So I hope to see you guys in the next video, or I'll <laughs> see you guys soon. Drink some water and take care of yourselves. Bye.